Be consistent, they say. Find a niche, they say. Ugh. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in hearing about what I've learned about my YouTube growth thus far, slash how to grow your YouTube channel in 2020, no BS, not that I'm such an expert, stick around because this video is just for you. So I owe my new subscribers a proper introduction. My name is Yaira, but feel free to call me Yaya. And this here is my channel iCubed, Interested, Informed, Inspired, and I post every single Tuesday. The topics range from Cameroon culture, because that is where I was born, to money-saving hacks. I also do movie reviews because I go to the movies pretty much every week or every other week. AMC needs to sponsor me already at this point. And I also do real talks because I happen not to like the words self-help. And today we're doing exactly that. Real talk about what I've learned about growing my YouTube channel thus far slash how to grow your YouTube channel in 2020. Now this is specifically for those of you thinking about starting a YouTube channel in 2020 or perhaps you have recently started a YouTube channel but you're not seeing the growth that you anticipated despite being consistent like myself which leads me into my youtube backstory now i've been on youtube as a content creator for a little over a year i posted my very first video in september of 2018 we'll link it down below don't watch it don't watch it i can't even watch it without cringing anyhow i decided that i wanted to start a youtube channel back in 2016 but first i needed equipment i needed a camera i needed lights i needed a new laptop which would then have the video editing software that i needed iMovie or final cut pro and also i needed ideas of what my channel would be about. I knew for sure that I did not want to have a beauty slash hair channel. In addition to not knowing enough about those topics, there's already too many of those channels here on YouTube. And just before I posted my very first video, which you don't have to watch, but which ironically is one of my most watched videos, I watched a lot of videos about how to grow your YouTube channel, YouTube growth hacks, is it too late to start a YouTube channel, you name it, I watched it. And I noticed a trend, a theme, a lot of these videos contains the the same three tips. Be consistent, find a niche, have good lighting and sound. And they're not wrong. No one wants to watch an informational video that's shaky with lighting and sound that's trash. It's very distracting from the message that the creator is trying to get across. And yes, you must be consistent in order to build a presence here on this platform. Otherwise, you will slip through the cracks of the 300 hours of video uploaded every minute. 300 hours of video uploaded every minute. Not every day. That's hell of intimidating to think about. And I'll get into that later. And you gotta have a target audience because you can't really make videos for everybody. Everybody likes different things. The way I come across on camera might not be someone's cup of tea. Meanwhile, there'll be others who can get enough of it. However, you could follow all these rules to the T and still not experience the growth that you're expecting. As you well know, I post videos every single Tuesday and I've posted two videos in one week a couple of times as well. Despite this, I'm still sitting at 114 subscribers, not 114,000 subscribers. Now, I am very grateful and thankful for all 114 of you and at least more than half of you watch my videos religiously and engage with them. But I have to admit, it can can get discouraging at times because I work too hard on these videos to only get a few views when I post them. And no matter how confident and happy I am with the content I post, except maybe for the first one, having few views has made me question myself a few times. Like, am I doing something wrong? Any content creator who claims to not be worried about numbers is probably lying or has a massive following because the whole system is built on numbers. You gotta hit a thousand subscribers and 400 watch hours before you get your videos monetized, which simply means you can run ads on your videos and get a portion of the profits. Then you get a plaque for hitting 100k subscribers, and then you get another one for hitting a million subscribers. It's based on numbers, the YouTube algorithm. It's a search engine after all. So numbers matter, which is why you have to have a very good reason other than making money for starting a YouTube channel. It will sustain you when the going gets tough, i.e. people leaving nasty comments in the comment section 
description of your video, something thankfully I haven't had to deal with. Or people not watching the videos you've worked so hard on while working 25 days in a row without a day off by choice. What I'm trying to say is it'll be nice to get compensated. However, I keep going because it is a creative outlet for me. It's about building a community of like-minded people, a community of empowerment. So that was tip number one, have a why power, not willpower. Tip number two, quality slash value is better than quantity. What's the point of posting three videos a week if the content is in other words, of no value. It did not make me laugh. I didn't learn anything. It wasn't heartwarming. I wasn't inspired. It was just dumb, dumb. Hence why I clicked off the video within 10 seconds. Despite my subscriber counts not being where I would like it to be for the amount of work I do, people coming up to me, mostly coworkers, and telling me they enjoy my videos is gold, worth more than 100k subscribers. Besides, it's far better to have a thousand subscribers, majority of whom watch and engage with your videos, than to have a million subscribers, majority of whom do not watch your videos, you're just there for the clout, to steal some of it, and only watch videos in which you tell all your business. Tip number three, mind your titles and your thumbnails. When I was in grad school in Chicago studying for my Master's of Science in Journalism, we learned about what made a story newsworthy and then how to write a headline for a story. You know, the who, what, where, why, and how. Among the seven or so things that makes a story newsworthy, three of them jumped out to me and I still remember them till today. The first is timeliness, second is human interest, the third is out of the ordinary. And for the third one, my professor used the phrase and I'm paraphrasing here when a dog bites a man that's not a story but when a man bites a dog that's a story think of your video sort of like a new story in terms of relevance is it timely I mean you can be posting Halloween videos in November and expect them to do well is your video of human interest being put out to serve someone other than yourself is it out of the ordinary different from what most people are posting or are you being a copycat jumping on bandwagons following the trends just to get views and what about the titles of your videos? Are they searchable? Now, I'm all about cute, catchy titles, but those won't get me anywhere, especially since I'm trying to grow. Your titles need to be clear and searchable. For instance, if you're making a video on, I don't know, how to make jollof rice, you cannot have your title be slaying in the kitchen because though it's catchy, it's not searchable. No one's typing that in the search. Instead, you can have your title be how to make jollof rice the Cameroonian way or insert whatever other African way of making it because there are several and at the end of your title put 2020 that way your viewers know that your recipe is updated and then there's the thumbnail a thumbnail that is eye-catching usually including big bold lettering describing what the video is about and perhaps an expressive face will get me to click it's low-key like a commercial aesthetics is everything and I do realize this appears a bit clickbaity which it is but the reality is that you have to walk the line between using the used car salesman strategy while maintaining a level of integrity. The thumbnail and title of your video will get people to click on your video. And depending on whether your video sucks or not, timely, serves someone other than yourself, unique, people will watch all the way through. And the more people watch your videos through to the end, called audience retention, the more the YouTube algorithm will be in your favor. It will suggest your videos to people watching videos of similar content like yours and that's how you grow and that's all i got folks let me know in the comment section if this was helpful and if you have other tips on how to grow on youtube in 2020 share those in the comment section let's support each other and help each other out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next tuesday have a great day bye Baby, one day